Yo, what's up everybody? It's Insane Unlimited or Blackbird Films, and today I'm going to teach you how to create the Mandalorian intro in Final Cut Pro. There will be one download you will need for this. It is the Mandalorian font, and there will be a link in the description for you to go download that. So we're just going to start by dragging a custom 3D into our timeline. I'm going to leave the format resolution right as is. Hit OK. And mine's about three seconds long. I would say have it about three seconds long. It doesn't really matter, but whatever you choose is fine. So now we're going to go down to the M section and select our Mandalore font. That's what it's called, Mandalore. And so now we're going to type it all lowercase. The reason we're typing it all lowercase is because if we were to make this A uppercase, we would see the Mandalorian silhouette in the A. And that's not how it is in the show intro. So now we're going to scroll down to 3D text, and if 3D text is not shown, click show. We're going to change the depth all the way down to zero. And now under substance, we're going to change the color to that tannish peachy color. Capacity all the way up. Now it looks a little bright, but we can change that if we go over to type and change the type from shiny to mate. And there we go, we have the peachy tannish color. Now we're going to add a layer under distress. We have dirt, click dirt, and we're going to change the type of dirt to dirt 3 and bring the opacity down to 70%. And that'll give it that more dirty look. Now we're going to highlight our clip, press Option or Alt, and drag up. It's basically like copying and pasting the same thing. So now we're going to highlight the top clip and change the words to the. And we're going to change the font to Bank Gothic, which is an inbuilt font in Final Cut Pro. And now with the transform tool, I'm just going to reposition it and resize it to fit how I want it to. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now we're once again going to press Option or Alt on our keyboard and drag up. And we're going to change the text to a dash on your keyboard. And now we're going to zoom in 200%. And we're just going to increase the size so we can see it, move it over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scale the size down to where it is the same size as the bottom line of the E. There we go. Now we're just going to bring our scale X all the way up. Bring it to around 700%. The line needs to be from the start of the O to the end of the N. So there, I've got my size to 862. And once again, we're going to hit Option on our keyboard or Alt and drag up. This will be the last time we do it. We're going to bring it over to the other side. Just drag it. So now we're going to right click on our mouse. Select new compound clip. You could also just hit Option G. So now with all of our clips into the compound clip, we're going to select the transform tool, hit the keyframe button, and bring our playhead to the very end, right there. And we're going to scale all to 128. Then we're going to add a little cross dissolve. And if we play that back, Now you can add the track, the soundtrack to it if you want, but you don't have to, it's not a requirement. But that is the end of the video, thank you all for watching, if you enjoyed it please like and maybe subscribe if you want to, I'm not forcing you or anything. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I'll see you whenever I get around to it.